Hey guys, what's up? My name's Theo. I play middle linebacker for the Hilvers Hurricanes. That is in the Netherlands. I live in Amsterdam. I live in Europe. I play Euroball on <laughs> the channel. Uh, today is a bit of a weird day still. Uh, the last week's been a bit odd because we have a relative in town from the States. And ever since the most recent, you know, border closing lockdown things, um, people have missed each other. So we're spending a lot of time being around folks we haven't seen in a while. Um, so I haven't been to practice. Um, however, with my injury to my shoulder and it's slowly healing because tendons, have, we'll get in that in the new section, sorry. <laughs> I get a little ahead of myself. How these Friday videos go is that every week I go through comments related to football content and I answer them verbally. So you guys basically get small little shout outs for commenting. Um, during the summer, sometimes when there's a whole crap ton of comments that are all the exact same thing, I'll just lump it all together and like, I got a bunch of comments about this topic and I won't name every single person. Sometimes I can get 12 comments in one day about the same dang thing because nobody actually reads the comments. They just go and comment it like they're the first person in eight years to, end, to ask the question. Why do you think I start out my video saying I'm a middle linebacker? <laughs> Anyways, so, and then after that I do news and then after that I go out to, to practice because I practice on Thursday night, so this is edited Friday morning after I wake up. Cyber five days ago on Weird Football Time's upcoming, which looks like last Friday's video. <laughs> uh, more sleep reviews. I do plan on doing that one. I brought it up in the Monday video, uh, which is also football content. It's after Sunday practice, which is more during the day. Um, so that's what's going on with that one. Uh, I also did not go to that practice. I did a walk and talk and explained what's going to be happening. You can check out the video here. And I walked around the sport parks, the sport park, and the skate park, and the football fields, and the tennis courts, and all this stuff are right, right in front of my apartment. Um, and it was like, I don't know what I'm doing for the summer necessarily, but... So I do plan on doing at least one sleeves review, probably in July. Um, in June, I'm going to need to order for it and then I'll get it sometime in July. And then hopefully with you guys in the States, sleeves orders really fast for you guys. I have to get it shipped overseas. I have to pay import fees. I have to go through. Mm. Um, but in the States, super fast and coming up on football season. If I can get a review out in July, you guys can order, have it by the beginning of August. Get all your swag ready to go. Plus, by that point, all the uh, 4th of July stuff may be on sale. <laughs> you know? I mean, like, oh, well, it's not the 4th of July anymore. All this red, white, and blue patriotic stuff <laughs> goes on sale. So I do plan on ordering some. I do need to personally get more gear. Um, Corona was a bit con kind to my linebacker body. <laughs> so... Some of my stuff isn't fitting much anymore. More or less, I was going out physically exercising uh, on my bike, because I live in Amsterdam, and so my calves have slowly grown and grown and grown, and my leggings or calf sleeves don't fit anymore. We've had to replace a lot of socks. My calves are big. And then on the original football uniform suit-up video, football rocks, nice job. It's a Go Thompson Dogs. Um, I'm also in football. Cool. Uh, Simona Lindsay says cool on football uniform suit up also. All right, so that's that for comments. Again, things are really slow, but they pick up as the football uniform suit up video starts gaining in popularity. More people comment, more responses. Anyways, so yes, like I said, as for news, our team suffered a lot from retirings and low player turnout and stuff from, I, the whole league was, but our team was really bad at, you know, got from Corona and we had some key injuries happen. It's not a popular sport here. So when you only have 25 guys and four of them get significantly injured, <laughs> you know, or, you know, like one of our defensive tackles, his wife just gave birth to twin girls. Congratulations, Mitchell. But he's a little busy right now. He's been busy for the last couple games and practices and stuff. Um, we've had one of our other D tackles who plays on O line. He had a severed bicep right here. Uh, mine didn't fully sever, but 
sometimes it's better to have it fully severed after you, you feel me. Um, like a splintered bone is a lot worse because you have to hold it still and not do anything while it heals. Whereas if it's fully broken, like my collarbone was, then you just put a metal plate on it and you rest and you're like, okay, well it's fully broken. You realize you need to rest. Whereas if it's just fractured, you're like, ah, I can still, right? No, it's, yeah. Anyways, it's like twisting your ankle versus breaking your ankle. You really don't want to break your ankle, but it seems worse to twist your ankle. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm doing with my shoulder. And at the end of this video, um, I'm going to show you guys some things that I do in the gym. Uh, they're just physiotherapy stuff. I think he's just trying to keep me busy and help me strengthen more of the rotator cuff and the little tiny muscles around there. Um, but anyway, so the next game that's coming up is on June 5. So the 6th of June on this channel will be a game day vlog. That will be a home game against Rotterdam, which was the last game I played in um, on their home field in Rotterdam. And then we had another game, which was doubled up. There was a Sunday game against Arnhem, and then a f Saturday game against the Limburg Shotguns, and it was just like, Badge. So a lot of people got a lot of injuries from that one. We were all banged up. And then Aaron's mom came into town, so he, her and I have been dinking around doing stuff, going to museums, canal tours, all that jazz. Um, experiencing ethnic foods from Suriname. Anyways, that's not part of a video, but that's what's been going on. And so this is pre-recorded. Um, and I'm also, like I said, I'm gonna be going to the gym. Okay, so this next game is still basically to get rookies more game time experience. Um, I did talk to my physio on Saturday uh, before last, and he did say, I probably shouldn't have played the game because it's one of those that's like, my I'm going up, 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 up. You know, and like, according to the screen, it's like, this is fully breaking it. This is kind of where I was. And I'm like, you near, near, near. Things kind of hurt for a while. And then I built it back up and I'm like, here, if I play a game or do anything terrible at practice and cause an injury, I could go back to here. And then suddenly that's like June and all this little bit can be just completely negated. And I back to the stupid physios rather than the actual strength training that I'm at now. Light work, but still works. So if I don't play the game and continue, I could probably finish the physio by the end of June and then fully get back to practices when we start after the summer break. Fun times. So that's my executive decision. It sucks, but I missed the whole season because I broke a collarbone. Um, I'm thankfully that I miss games and miss seasons because of stuff that happens in football, not from life getting in the way, per se. <laughs> like, you know, oh, I'm sorry, I can't play this game. I broke my collarbone falling off my bike. That sort of thing. I mean, obviously, you know, having kids, relative other things happening. Like, I missed a whole couple seasons because of corona. And not my fault, but... <laughs> but anyways, so that's what's going on with all that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be heading to the gym and we're just going to show little things that I do with, you know, strengthening the intricate things from like, because the super spinatus, the one that kind of comes in from the back underneath this little hard bone and pulls on the outside, that had a slight tear on it. So I'm doing a lot of this crap. And then right in here, the biceps is tendon got a partial tear. So we've been helping that heal. And now I'm like doing this sort of action, doing a bicep curl, but I'm doing this and a shoulder. So I'm like curling my arm. It's awkward. They're fun. I'll show you guys in the gym, uh, but I won't be going to practice tonight because we have a dinner date at a nice restaurant. Um, they are currently in Belgium. Um, but yeah, when family's in town, things happen. It's not my job. It's a hobby and family comes first. So anyways, I'm going to head out to the gym and record some of this stuff and you guys can see that stuff. If you have any questions about linebacker stuff or any questions about my gear 
or anything, go and ask in the comments below. Sunday will be, or Monday's video will be a football video. I am going to practice um, just because I need to have socialization. And they probably want to sleep in. <laughs> and if I can leave at like 8.30 in the morning at 9 o'clock and head out to practice and at least do some physical exercise with the guys, it's fun. I don't need to contact, but, you know. We're getting back to normal, but I've had a we've had guests in town. So, I'll chat with you guys at the gym. A few moments later. I'm so sorry, guys. I just got everything ready to go. I have my backpack packed, and I realized that it is a strange holiday. Sorry for this interruption. <clears throat> the gym is closing by 4 o'clock. It is... Just, I should have known something was up. It's a Thursday, and there's this many people out at the skate park. People are on vacation. People aren't in school today. People are having their festival. Um, yeah, the gym is closing. I just opened up my email to check on some one last thing, and I saw the email from the gym. They're like, reminder, we're closing by 4 o'clock. And I'm like, oh, no. No, <sighs> Ascension Day. It's a religious thing. The Dutch will take, anyways. So yeah, okay, so what we're gonna do here is just show you the idea of what I do. <laughs> um, real quick. Okay, so I would be laying on a bench at the gym or at the physio office, not <laughs> on my actual bed, but it's dumbbell, press-ups. Yeah, I know. It's two kilos. This is absolutely nothing for my chest as a linebacker. <laughs> like, I'm even picking up 14 kilos doing it now, and that's the easy stuff. <laughs> Just because. Yeah. Anyways, so. So I do chest press, and then I'll do the lean forward. Pull up. Row. So there's that little bit, and that helps with this. And then I take underhand. Now this is actually about the right weight. I do eight kilos with this instead, but I do like 14, 16 kilos with the press and the pull up. But this is, and I just make sure I do an underhand, not an overhand, underhand because it twists the bicep and everything in the arm that much, so it puts more strain on the bicep tendon rather than other the other bicep tendon, <laughs> the, but the one that I need to work on, so it puts more blood to it, um, except I use like eight kilos for that. Um, and then before bed every night, I do, I wrap my bands around the guard outside and I do these are two 15s, so I do single rows um, on the off days. If I go to the gym and I do my rows with the dumbbells on the bench, I do not do that. So I do at least a row every day. On my gym days, I make sure to go heavy, heavy versus the bands, which say they're 15. They're not. <laughs> bands are weird. They're good resistance if you continuously use the same bands for resistance and you move up by the same company. <laughs> but... Um, what you're actually getting out of a band versus what it says, that's awkward. But I'll, I'll, I'll hold it out and then I'll make sure, because I can do it one-handed, so I can use this hand and hold the shoulder back so I'm actually, so I'm not doing that. I'm actually like hinging at the shoulder. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much that. Um, and then I'll also do military press with like 10 kilos. Again, I'm having to build back, not so much with this arm, but with this shoulder. And we're, we're hoping that by next summer, 2022, 2023 season, we can all come back, we can be versed in football, we can be rested and healed, and we can stomp the AFBN. Anyways, I will catch you guys on Sunday. Again, I will actually be out of practice. Um, and we will get at least some football film and we will talk to other people and I will get to socialize and talk about the args of meeting my Schoenmutter. Schoenmutter is what they call it. I keep saying that because I'm like, if I say mother-in-law, they're like, huh, what? Your stepmother? I'm like, no, Schoenmutter. Ooh. One of the things about living abroad, sometimes they don't really understand the English term. So you have to use the local term. 
Why is it clean, Mother? I have no idea, but they know what I'm talking about.